Hello and welcome back to Mana Lords and our relaxed little series here that we got going. So, here's the thing. <laughs> we obviously claimed a bunch of regions in the previous episode and I'm actually really, really pleased about that. However, <laughs> this one, which is the most recent one, is giving me huge issues. This just goes to show that if you get a really bad region or a region that isn't particularly situated very well, you're going to have issues. Maybe. Uh, it depends. It depends. If you can kind of leverage your approval rating by making sure... <laughs> these people are not homeless, by the way. I think that's a bug or something. There must be some kind of weird bug going on there. Because there is no homelessness going on. As you can quite clearly tell, they have an insane amount of houses available. But uh, for some reason, some of them are believing that there aren't any or something. I don't actually know, but it doesn't matter. Basically, uh, and this is a little bit of a tip here for you as well. What I'd recommend doing is after you've gotten a decent amount of wood and all that wonderful stuff initially... You want to build a forager's camp and you want to build a hunting camp. And then you want to take people off the, you know, uh, logging camp and the forester's camp and all that stuff. You want to take them off those buildings and put them on the hunting camp and the forager's camp. And if you do that, you will have a great time. You're, you're going to get a really, really fast start. And that's exactly what you want. You want to be able to feed your people a variety of food. If you feed them a variety, then you're going to get this. Obviously, make sure that you have a marketplace up and running, but you, 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 know, you don't need to really worry about that. That's instant, basically. And then as soon as you've done that, you're going to be away. You're going to have a great time because obviously the logging camp and the woodcutter's lodge and so on and so forth. I mean, the woodcutter's lodge isn't really necessary initially. Because it's not going to be winter or anything like that. But you can see how much food we... <laughs> you see how much food we have here? 33 months worth of food. As you can see. Look at this. Berry Town is full in terms of the amount of... Um, stuff that we can get here. Because, I mean, you can see... Look, look exactly what's happening. I just don't have enough people to be able to transfer this. And now this is the main concern. And this is the reason why I started with the introduction that I started with. What's happening right now? Well, this is what's happening. I'm going to zoom out. Yeah. You see this? You see exactly what's happening right here? This stone deposit is so far away. It's extremely difficult to actually get that working in any way, shape or form. And you can see here, look, look, look at what's going on. It's so strange. Homelessness is not actually a problem. I, I don't, I, I don't understand. I, I literally do not understand because there are so many people here. I mean, literally, I have so many um, houses. And if I select each and every one, look at this. There are no, no people living in this house right here. There is a, a, a couple of people living here, and there's people living here as well. And what about this one? Yes. So these are four, and then what about this one? Yes. See? So we only have five families, right? How many families can this region currently accommodate? Yes. This one. We, so there are 12, and we have a population of 15. However, we have obviously level, uh, we have five level one families. So, with a population of 15. However, we have a living space of 12. And that is more than enough. Because, obviously, they're going to share buildings with each other. So, this is the reason. <laughs> this is the reason why I'm having, for some reason, a huge issue. Right? This is, like, a huge, huge problem. And that's the thing. I could expand the living space of this. Which I'm actually going to do now, just because I am curious to see whether that is actually going to fix the issue. Because I'm having problems with approval rating just because of this homelessness bug. I think it is indeed a bug. As you can quite clearly tell, there are so many houses here, and they are all available. They are literally all available. I mean, I could, I could make a road here. 
I don't know whether they're connected. Are they actually connected? I don't know, but I'm going to make another road just to make sure. I'm pretty sure they are connected. I mean, it doesn't say that they're not connected or whatever, but I mean, <laughs> it's pretty clear they are. Anyway, as I said to you before, basically the main reason why I'm having issues is because of this stone deposit being so far away from everything else. Because what I want to do, and this is the way that we're going to grow this town, it's very difficult to do that when they are so far away and, and when we only have one ox. I don't know where my other ox went, by the way, because I did buy one, if you recall, in the previous episode. And it's just like, what is going on here? Because I literally had, uh, well, at the, at the time I had no hitching, hitching space. But that doesn't actually matter as far as I'm aware, because they're just going to tell you no you can't do this you know you can't order an ox unless you have you know additional space so i don't actually know what happened with that but they took my gold anyway as you can quite clearly see but that doesn't matter obviously as i say that doesn't matter so what i'm actually trying to do now is build a church this is going to be the thing that will actually be um, helping us a massive amount, or at least it should be. Hopefully it will. I'm going to put it right next to, um, right next to the houses here. And this is going to be a really, really big bonus for us. Because if you have a church, it's going to give you approval. As it does in every single one of my other regions. I'm going to show you the other regions in just a moment. I've been playing a little bit off screen, as you might expect. Because at this point in time... There are very few brigands, very few bandits, and the game turns into more of a kind of... You have to just try to manage yourself a huge amount. There's so much to do in every single region, and it's very difficult to actually have that work appropriately. Especially when you only have one ox, for example, like I do here. And, I mean, literally, these guys have to run from all the way here all the way over here to the storehouse and it's just it's such a it's a terrible terrible time for them it really is it's an absolutely terrible time i'm just going to put a road there just to make it a little bit easier for them so no storage space left for production for the hunting camp so <laughs> once again we are now getting stuck up because of this and it doesn't matter whether i put more people on this either because i've already done that i've already assigned every single person I can to whatever I need to do. By the way, if you hold down tab, you can find this menu here. Yeah, it, it's something that I uh, didn't realize was actually a thing until I checked the key bindings because I was looking for other stuff that I wanted to try and figure out. And well, there you go. You can actually see some stuff here. Now, this is obviously, you know, concerning my comments in the previous episode where I was, you know, kind of asking for a name tag or some kind of thing that, you know, gives me, uh, well, a bit of an identifier as to what kind of building that is. And, uh, well, I'm, I'm actually going to unassign the mining pit for the moment. Basically, what I wanted to try to do was maximize my clay deposits here because obviously I'm going to need that to be able to create the church and do other things with it. Obviously, I, I well, I don't actually need that to create the church, but you need stone for that. But the stone thing was so far away that I wanted to try to get a little bit of clay ahead of schedule just so that when I have the ability to do so, I would love to be able to do this. Clay furnace, boom turn that into clay tiles and then maybe i'm actually not entirely sure can we actually turn clay tiles into anything else i don't think so at the moment i don't think so at the moment however basically the the most important thing for us right now is to get to level two we want to be able to increase our burgage plots to level two if i can do that i'm going to be able to advance and get a uh, an, another development point and the development point that I'm going to go for, yeah, you guessed it, is trade logistics. This is probably one of the most important things you can get. Um, I, I've come to the conclusion, at least, that I think it is one of the most important things that you can get in the game. Because I've been looking at Reformia's, uh, my Reformia region right here. I'm going to just show you real fast. Yeah, Reformia is actually doing okay now. 
Reformia was doing very badly in terms of food supply. So what I actually did was I created another forager hut. <laughs> I know, I know what you're thinking. Why? Why is there another forager hut there? Yeah, it was, it was very necessary, trust me. It was very, very necessary. If I didn't do that, we were going to have huge issues. We, we actually had, uh, I think, um, two months worth of food remaining or something like that at the time. And now we have seven months. So it's really, really making a huge difference. And um, yeah, you can see here that they're all working really, really hard. Now, on the case of leveling things to level three, we can do it soon, okay? We can actually do it soon, but it is gonna be, um, it's gonna be a little bit of time left because as you can see, you're gonna need to start serving ale in your tavern. And to do that, you're gonna need to create malt I mean, I, well, technically it's barley and then turn barley into malt. And you can see here that we already have something going on here. I'm using this one field to um, to get barley and I'm hopeful that they're actually going to do this quite fast. Uh, I did not do this at the very beginning of the estimated resources produced days left to harvest. What? 82? 82 days? Is that enough time? Um, June, July, August, September. Yeah, no, that should be fine. That should be fine. I was really worried about that for a real quick second. But yeah, we're basically leaving the other fields fallow for now. And then we're going to be sowing barley in the next season. And then we're going to be sowing, yeah, well, double barley, basically. Double barley in the next season. This is extremely important for us. Because then I can turn all of that barley into malt at the malt house right here and then uh, let me just actually just confirm that real fast uh, yes there you go workers use barley to produce malt and there we are so yes that's obviously fantastic and then malt is going to get transported all the way over here to the tavern and hopefully that will then provide us with indeed this it needs ale to function wait a minute Wait a minute. Am I am I missing a trick here? I think I am missing a trick here. Okay, wait a second. Look at this. The brewery extension. I think I actually need this. I think I actually need this. Wait a minute. Let's get let, should we get two of these? Should we get two brewery extensions right now? I don't know. I don't know whether that's a good idea. Well, um to let you know, I also did get another extension to get me um what was it now? Uh, I think I got the Taylor's Workshop in the previous episode, right? I think I showed you that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not sure if I actually need a brewery extension double, but I'm going to I'm gonna get double anyway. And we'll see how that goes. Um, but apart from that, I've actually been buying a lot of chickens in the backyard. Um, because that's actually really, really useful for food supplies. And it actually, as far as I'm aware should work all throughout the year I think don't don't quote me on that but I think it should work all throughout the year now the one thing that we also don't have some of the time is double clothing for all of our people uh, because my tailor is now actually working I think and so as you can see we've fulfilled every single criteria apart from you guessed it the tavern and so I'm very much hoping that they are going to start doing that now. I mean, I'm kind of hoping, right? I'm kind of hoping. And um, yeah, my large granary is doing okay, as you can see right there. I mean, literally, look at this. Every single one of them. Uh, I'd like to be able to up, uh, you know, upgrade, my, uh, <laughs> upgrade my granary even further. That would be fantastic. But yeah, anyway, we also have a huge amount of... Um, uh, well, archers, as you can see. We have massive amounts of archers here, so we can obviously leverage those really, really nicely. Unfortunately, I don't have anything else, basically. Oh, oh no, no, actually, I do have a lot of spears. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, oh, that's good. I was, um, I was actually thinking that I wasn't going to have a huge amount of, uh, 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 of spearmen otherwise now, but that's, that's very nice. Okay, I actually do. Cool. All right. I wasn't. I didn't expect that. Okay. That's that's really nice. Yeah. Um. So otherwise, apart from that, what I want to do is I obviously want to get go into here and get my retinue upgraded. So this guy is going to get upgraded now as well. And um, how do I actually go? Yeah. Here we go. Wait a minute. 
Did I not? Wait a minute. Did they get reset? No, they didn't. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, yeah. So all these guys are, are absolutely fantastic. They're good. Let's uh, recruit another two men at arms. And we'll upgrade these as well. And there we have it. Okay, so now my retinue is literally outfitted to the nines. They are going to be fantastic. And if they need to be deployed, they will be ready. They will be ready for any action whatsoever. Um, so yeah, okay. Now that I have... Uh, where's the brewery, by the way? Where did I build that? Oh, no. Where is it? Let me see here. Is this actually going to help me? Is this it right here? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Whew. It's kind of close to the tavern as well, which is really, really nice. So I'm kind of hopeful that that's going to work. Because I do have a little bit, or I did at least, I did have a little bit of barley. Yes, I have 44 malt. Look, I actually have 44 malt. Um, can I, wait a minute, wait a minute, where's, where, uh, this one? No, I still can't do it, I still can't do it, but I, I, I'm gonna upgrade this, this plot straight away, as soon as possible. Do I have enough, um, roof tiles? Yes, I do. Whoo, okay, th thank you. Whoa, I was a bit worried there for, for a quick second. I thought to myself, if I don't have enough roof tiles now, I am going to kick myself across the the planet. Yes. <laughs> but thankfully I do now. Okay, let's speed things up. We'll speed things up and we'll see what happens over the course of the, the time that we're speeding this up and hopefully it's actually going to be providing us with something good. Obviously I don't really need the brewery because I do actually have some malt here. Uh, actually I do because they're going to turn that into drinks, isn't it? Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> Scratch that. Just ignore me. Don't worry, sometimes I get a little bit mixed up about these things because I actually didn't even realize I needed a brewery. I thought the tavern would take the malt and turn it into drinks. But you need to turn the malt into drinks and then deliver those drinks to the tavern, as far as I am aware. That seems to be the case. As you can see, like many of your citizens, it needs ale to function, you see? And the brewery is the thing that's going to do that. They're the thing that is going to be turning that into it. <gasps> there it is. I could do level three. There it is. Level three. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. That is going to get me another development point, which is going to be so incredibly useful. Oh, yeah. By the way, berries are no longer being used here. So I'm actually just going to uh, unequip um, everyone except one person from there. The reason why I'm only equipping, uh, well, the, the reason why I'm, uh, la, 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 if I could speak. The reason why I'm unequipping everyone except one is because I want to make it so that if the season begins, at least we have one person on each so that they can continue gathering if I forget. Because, let's face it, I'm running four different regions right now. I need to make sure that they are going to continue running even when I'm no longer there. You know what I mean? It's going to make a huge, huge difference. Oh yeah, I actually do need to get another Burgage plot. There we go. Wonderful. And we're, once that's done, we are going to level up into a small town. Oh, ah, this, is a, this has been a long time coming. Let's just say that. It has absolutely been a long time coming. I am extremely excited about this. Okay, let's speed things up and see what happens. Berry Town has finally finished its wooden church. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't just stay here and look, should I? I should be going somewhere else. Yeah, the work area is empty. I do realize that. But we're going to be going over to Berry Town now. And actually taking a look and seeing what's happening happening with their with their approval. Yes, we finally we finally got another another um, another family to join us. That is wonderful. That's great. Okay, that's really good. And do I now have the ability to advance these? I do not for some reason. Ah, clothing. Ah, <laughs> yes. Okay, so the clothing is obviously going to be a bit of an issue, but that's fine. You know why? Because we just need to get a tannery. That's all we need. We just need a tannery. It's going to be nice and easy for us to do that. Where is the tannery? There it is. And let's just put the tannery right next to the hunting, uh, the hunting place, so that it can be it can just be taken over there almost immediately. I'm actually wondering whether I want to continue um, doing stone. I, I don't know whether I really need stone anymore. I've got 62. I don't think I need more of that. So we're just going to unassign the the fellow from there. And we're going to put someone back on this because I'm going to want to create a 
um, you know, roof tiles thing. That's going to make a huge, huge difference for us. And let me see here. Wait a minute. Yes, the clay furnace. We need this. Obviously, we need stone to be able to create these kinds of buildings as well. Some of them, at least. And that's very important. We could, you know, it's actually quite funny. If you have a huge amount of berries, which I technically do. I mean, you can see here that we are currently full at the moment, which is very annoying. But we, uh, we're going to have to take things a little bit slower with this particular town because of that reason. We are going to need to have... Well, you'll see what happens, basically. But we're going to need a clay furnace. So we're going to put one round about here. So they can just deliver it straight into the clay furnace. I might even need two clay furnaces, to be honest. But it very much depends on how fast my uh, people are able to do things here. Um, because I really want to get the level 2 upgrade. I'm going to need the fuel. What? Fuel? Enough fuel on the marketplace stalls? Why don't I have enough fuel here? Is it because I don't have enough people actually, uh, you know, supplying that? Woodcutter's Lodge? Yep, there you go. All right, yeah, that's fine. I just need one person on there. So then they're actually going to, you know recognize that they have fuel because the person will then open their stall over there yeah that, that's the way it's gonna work okay so we also have one person on there and what about the hunting camp yeah there's one person on there but they don't have a stall at the moment for some reason why don't they have a stall i don't know why but that's fine we don't need to worry about that too much at the moment because all we need to do is get the clothing up and running and then we can finally get um all of that and that's going to be great. That's literally all we need. So let me just get this tannery. And then we can start getting the hides. And then we can actually level people up. Because here's the thing. Basically what you can do is you can either go for the importing route. So you can go for sheep. Like I did with my first initial region. And there you go. We did it. Reformia has now advanced in development. Let's actually just go over there. I'm going to go over there at one time speed. And, oh, yes, look at this. Ah, we actually get the opportunity to do this. Okay, now this is great. So we can either go for deep mining here. So this basically allows you to now extract resources infinitely if placed over a rich deposit. So if you take a look here, obviously I don't have a rich deposit. But think about this upgrade with my other region that has the rich iron deposit can you can you imagine how insane <laughs> that is gonna be that is gonna be incredible anyway um yeah we could also take this uh i actually don't even know what to take to be honest right now i i think that the sheep breeding thing was amazing by the way i think this was really really impressive because i don't know whether you've noticed but my sheep i i literally i think i have 20 of those suckers it's actually crazy how many I have now. And I got the heavy plow here. New upgrade at a plowing station. Enables employing oxen at the farmhouse for significantly faster plowing of large fields. I actually don't believe that this has been particularly useful for me. I don't know whether that's just me because I suck or, or whatever. But I mean, you can see here, I do have a livestock. Uh, I do have an, an ox working here. And I have per, uh, put someone on on this, you know, um, but I am, I, I don't know. It, it just doesn't seem as though it actually works. I'm not sure whether that's just me. I don't know. So don't quote me on this. I don't know whether this upgrade is any good. Um, but yeah, apart from that, what else do we, what else do we have here? I mean, obviously, here's the thing. If we double capacity of all our berry deposits, obviously this particular region that we have right now, is a berry deposit gold mine. You're going to be able to get 240 uh, total here from this rich deposit. And if I was doing this again, and now this is something that you may want to take advantage of yourself, if you start in a region with a berry deposit that is rich, this is a really good tip. I'd recommend going for the berry deposit, obviously getting the hunting camp and all that stuff to improve your, you know, approval and all that, you know, all the standard stuff that I already told you just now. But what I'd recommend doing is getting the dyer's workshop and then literally just going in straight away and getting the trading post and exporting dyes. Exporting dyes are, is going to be very, very lucrative for you. As you can see, you can literally sell that for four per one. And if you get the trade 
um, the trade thing, it's going to be insane for you. If you get the, the trade deal, the trade uh, improvement, whatever it's called, that's going to be incredible. You could also get helmets as well. I actually might think about getting helmets, but probably not here. I'm probably going to get that in my iron... Um, my iron area, I think, maybe. My, my, my uh, rich iron deposit uh, region. I think that's probably going to be the best there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, foreign suppliers is also fantastic, by the way. Because this is a permanent market store which provides a passive income to any of these things. So you can basically get bread instantly just by doing this. As long as you have enough regional wealth. This is a really, really good upgrade too. If you have enough money to be able to pay for it, of course. I'm thinking that I might go for trade logistics or uh, forest management because that's the thing. I don't really need trade logistics right now because, wow, that's actually really impressive as well. The, the better deals thing. All the other stuff is obviously yeah, still in development and all that stuff. But um, I'm actually going to go for the berry deposits. I'm going to go for the berry, berry deposits right now because obviously, as I just said to you, I have double forager hut right here and next time when the berries come into you know come into season it's going to be extremely important for us to do that and funnily enough what I could also do I'm just going to build a road here real fast um, but yeah what I could also do is as I just said to you we could literally export berries and, and, and into dyes we could literally just create a massive amount of dyes um, so why not? Let's let's try it out, shall we? Let's try it out. I mean, why not? You know, there's there's nothing to lose, really. I mean, we have a lot of food right now. I've got eight months worth of food that should be good enough, and obviously we're going to be getting a huge amount of berries in the in the meantime too. Um, so I'm I'm very happy with this. Okay, so let's move on to Berry Town. How are we doing here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually not bad, not bad. Our approval rating, as you can see, thanks to the church, obviously, is making a significant difference. We're still dealing with some homelessness problem for some reason. I still don't know why that is. Um, I, have I just done a bad job in, in building some things here? or I, I don't actually know. But we're going to just put a road here just to make sure that everything's kind of connected, I suppose. I don't know. I'm, I'm not entirely sure whether these things are actually connected to each other. But they must be, right? They must be. Otherwise, you know, what's going on? I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway... This is almost done. What about the tannery? This is almost done as well. Let's just put that on very high. I want to get that done as soon as possible. And as you can see, yeah, we just need the clothing. So once the clothing is done, that's going to be great. And then we'll be able to advance this to the next stage. And you know what I'm going to get, right? I'm going to get trade logistics. So trade logistics going into this is going to be fantastic because we get that. And then we will literally have infinite wealth. You know, like a dragon, infinite wealth. Ex exactly, just like that. Anyway, the, the fact is, apart from that, Bertildia. Bertildia is doing fantastically well. As you can see, we have 1,500 regional wealth. 1,500. It's absolute insanity. It really is. Unfortunately, I still don't have level 2. Uh, but, oh, look, there we go. I, I now finally have the ability to get level 2. So that is exactly what we're going to do now. We're just going to get level 2 here. Uh, I don't have enough timber. So, yeah, my... my um, <laughs> For some reason, my logging camp is really lazy. I don't actually know why that is. So that's the reason why I actually built another one. I have two. And uh, you can see here that I literally have 100%... Um, approval rating. I literally have a 100% approval rating. It's so incredibly impressive. It really is for us to see that. I'm, you know, I, I literally am never thinking that I'm going to do very well in regards to approval, but for this I have. And this is exactly what's the problem now. I can't build any more houses because I don't have any timber. So <laughs> it's just going to we're just going to have to wait. And um, I'm going to get level 2 and then I'll be able to advance in the development of this particular region again. And I don't know what to go for actually with this one. I think I'm going to go for um, probably charcoal burning and then deep mining. I'm going to need to get that because this is obviously my main deal. I want to try to get that as best as possible. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. So basically, there's another thing here. So you can get master armor making, which allows you to create plate armor. 
and that can be used to upgrade your retinue even further. So if you want to make your retinue into an absolute elite fighting force, this is a really great way to go. But I'm not entirely sure who's going to be able to do that. I mean, technically, you can do that. <laughs> you know, you can, you can do that pretty easily, actually. It's just a matter of spending the time doing that. Anyway, Barneyville obviously is here. Um, yeah, Forager Hut obviously is not going to be particularly useful for us right now. And there's the mining pit. Uh, we should probably build a church. I don't think I built one yet. So let's build one. I guess here. Yep. That seems perfectly fine. I did have, if you recall in the previous episode, I did actually have like a... Uh, forester's camp here, or, or not a forester's camp, but you know, the thing that gets firewood. What is it? The woodcutter's lodge. There we go. I did have a woodcutter's lodge over there, um, but it wasn't doing very well. So I basically decided, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rebuild it over here. And that's very close to the logging camp and the saw pit as well. And we also need to get the other thing too. We need to get the forester's hut. So I'm actually going to be going for that. I need to build that here, I guess. Um, because that's re that's going to be really, really important for us. Ah, there we go. The tannery is actually done. This is something that I also think is really a, a very cool thing in the game. You can click on these things at the top here, and it will just take you immediately to whatever event has just happened. And as you saw, I was able to just very quickly teleport straight here to the tannery, and then I can just add a person immediately. Very, very useful. Um, but yeah, apart from that, we are now hopefully going to be good once the tannery starts making some clothes. So I'm just going to speed things up real fast because obviously we already built the church in the other region. So hopefully that will be done relatively soon too. And the clay furnace is now done too. So that's great. Let's get another person on that and we can actually start creating, um, start creating roofing tiles. And we can, once we get our development point, we can get the trade, you know, <laughs> the trade permit and we can start making money here as well. One thing I am going to need to do though, and this is something that I think that you've probably already thought of, maybe, I don't know, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, the manor, right? I'm going to need to build a manor in the other region, right? Very, very quickly, actually. Um, let me see, where is it now? Uh, yeah, Bertildia. I need to build a manor here really fast because this is going to allow me, I, I obviously can't do it yet because I need to be a small village first, but this is going to allow me to tax my income. Um, and I have a huge amount of this. I have a huge, huge amount and I have massive uh, approval ratings as well. So generally, taking all of that into account. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm importing sheep. I imported sheep. I should probably import some more sheep, shouldn't I? Um, wait a minute. How do I do that? There it is. Um, yeah, so I'm going to import some more sheep. I'm going to import, um, I don't know, 20 sheep or something. Uh, how much do I have? Yeah, I have 40 pasture space here. Um, but yeah, that's basically how I was able to fulfill the clothing criteria for leveling up the burgage plots. And as you can see, I also, I literally just need clothes, uh, clothes and cloaks and stuff like that. And that's gonna be really easy to do. Cause uh, yeah, as you can also uh, tell, I actually did, um, wait, what a minute. What, why do we have so few? Oh no, that's terrible. We have so few, uh, so few firewood. I, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with the firewood being so low here, but um, that is not great. Um, yeah, that is actually not very good at all. Okay, we're going to have to do something about that. Let's get the forester's hut over here. And let's get the um, firewood person here as well. There we go. Okay. I mean, we've got a, a, a very, very elite town here on our hands. This This is an absolutely incredible town. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Did I not upgrade another one? I thought I upgraded another plot, but apparently I didn't have enough timber or something like that. Yeah, I didn't have enough timber to upgrade it at the time, I, I guess. I don't know. My logging camps are really lazy in this particular region for some reason. I don't know why. Um, even though they have cut a pretty big amount here, and the forester is not really doing a very good job of replanting either. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. I guess everyone's just so happy that they're... <laughs> They're not doing anything. I don't know. 
anyway, the point is we want to get that mana up and running and I do need to obviously advance that region to be able to do that. Um, but yeah, that's, um, so there you go. That's, that's basically the, the sort of, um, the update for what's currently been going on with me and Mana Lords. And that's probably going to be it for this episode. I, I, I don't see a reason for us to go any further here. And I'm just going to go a little bit more off screen. And I'll uh, I'll keep you updated. I'll keep you updated on what's going on here. Because obviously we now have... Yeah, we're getting some really, really nice approval ratings with Barneyville here as well. And I actually have significant amounts of timber too here. So what I can do is I can literally just get some more... Uh, Get some more residential. That's what we're going to do here. Just do that. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's going to be nice. That's going to be so nice right here. Let's do something like this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, something like that. I Oh, no, we can't. What? Why not? Why can't I do that? I should be able to. <laughs> I should be able to do that. Oh, okay, well, I'll just do this then, I guess. There we are. And we can put this on the other side here as well. There we go. Yeah, so once that once they've done that, obviously they're gonna be attracting even more people to the place. And um yeah, obviously one other thing that we want to do, of course, is to try to advance this. And we need clothing. So how are we gonna get clothing? Well, there's obviously a uh, huge rich deposit of animals here, and we're gonna be able to get hides. So the best way for, me, for us to do that is obviously, you know, as you know, get a tannery, get a tannery and then just do it that way. Yeah, there you go. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a tannery. Fantastic, right? Yeah, so I'm just going to get a tannery and obviously that's going to get built at some point. We've got the church up and running now as well, which is going to make my approval rating skyrocket even further too. And apart from that, uh, we've got great things going on basically everywhere. Uh, what do I actually need to do now? Ah, we need to get level 3. Okay, we need to get a huge amount of level 3. Um, level 3 burgage, plot, uh, burgage plots. Um, so I'm going to literally just do that. I, I wish I was actually able to upgrade these without having to go in there. Oh yeah, wait a minute. My saw pit is not doing a very good job. Why is my saw pit not doing a good job? Um, we don't have a huge amount of logs for some reason. Why don't we have logs? Hmm. I'm not sure why that is, but I have a feeling we're, we're maybe going to have some issues with that. And also the fact that my logging camp is, well, as you can quite clearly tell, <laughs> actually deforesting this entire area. I'm thinking I'm going to need to actually replace them. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to rebuild the logging camp over in this area area here maybe here yeah like that and then we're going to well basically what we're going to do is i'm going to oh but there we go bertilia actually advanced in level that's great what we're going to do is as soon as this is built i'm actually going to put this on highest difficulty well, highest difficulty highest priority right now so once this is built uh this logging camp right here we are going to um, unass unassign. Uh, we're going to unassign absolutely everyone from here and then just assign them over there instead. And uh, basically that's how it's going to go. Hopefully it's going to go well. And we're getting more level 3s as you can see. It's going to be actually pretty easy for us to get level 3. I just haven't been uh, prioritizing getting planks. And I've actually been selling a lot of planks as well. Which is something that I think probably needs to stop right now. So I'm actually going to say no trade on that. Um, I would be able to get instantly to medium town. If I had done that right. And obviously I don't have any more roof tiles. Do I... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have any more clay. So I'm going to have to either import clay or I will have to get that from one of my places here. Let's actually... Wait a minute. Berryville. Berrytown is the place, right? So I'm going to send them... I don't even know what to send them, to be honest. I don't have anything. I don't have anything that I can send them. I could send them ale. <laughs> That's not really going to do much, is it? Uh, I mean, technically, I could send them that. Um... 
Yeah, I could send them that and then they could just build a tavern immediately, but I don't think that's particularly useful for them. So I guess the best thing for me to do is actually send them firewood. So I'm going to send them firewood and then we're just going to get them. Uh, we need to get... What do we need to get from them again? We need to get... Um, uh, roof tiles, right? Yeah, we need to get roof tiles. Have they actually created roof tiles? I'm not entirely sure. Let's just have a look real fast. Okay. Uh, are they creating ro roof tiles out of this? Yeah, they create roof tiles from the clay furnace. Okay, that's actually fantastic. So let's go over to Reformio once again. And then the packing station. Where is the packing station? I always forget where it is. There it is. Okay. So we can obviously order a mule to do that. Let's do it. Um, I actually have no idea. Wait a minute. Can I assign this permanently? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Do I have? Yeah, I do have mules. Oh, that's actually very cool. Okay, that's, that's nice. Um, <laughs> should I get some more stables though? I think that's probably a good idea, isn't it? Where is it? Logistics? We should probably get, um, yeah, more hi more hitching posts. Uh, I'm not sure wh where where do the uh, yes stable space yes indeed yes indeed okay yeah so hitching post let's just put them round about here not really necessary to beat around the bush a huge amount here we're just going to put them right there and then we'll upgrade them to small stables of course it's going to be very very easy for us to do that. And then we'll have a massive amount. Oh, a fire broke out. Where? Here? Oh, okay. Um, are we going to have a problem with this? I don't think so, right? Nah, my guys are going to... Well, my guys are going to have this well in hand. Oh, that, that burned down really fast. Oh, I'm actually really surprised. But they put it out really, really quickly, as you could see. Because we were very well prepared for that. I mean, you know, we, we've got we've got a, a good amount of wells and everything. And they put it out super, super fast. But as you can tell, there's not much threat going on right now. We're not getting attacked from any bandits or anything like that. And um, I'm not entirely sure how that's really going to go. Because we are going to need more influence. And that's exactly the reason why I do need an another mana in every single region. I need a mana in every single region so that I can actually get tithe. And what we're going to do is I'm literally just going to go here and just donate 20% uh, of my food, I think. Probably 20% of my food. I mean, this is maybe not the best idea considering winter is coming up, but that's what we're going to do. Um, have I built this? Have I built this yet? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we built that. Let's just get them all working and we'll uh, turn off this other one. There we go. Turn that off. There we are. Okay, fantastic. So yeah, anyway, as I said, we're going to keep it a little bit, uh, a little bit of a shorter episode today, mostly because, well, there isn't much for me to do here except, you know, <laughs> the standard, standard sort of stuff. However, Bertildia, Bertildia is an absolute powerhouse. One of the greatest things ever. Really, really pleased with how this is going. Look at my regional wealth, by the way. Crazy. And um, once we have advanced... Yeah, there we go. I can actually increase this um, a, a couple more. Um, but yeah, we are going to... I'm going to get charcoal burning now, and then we're going to get deep mining. Um, next time, I am always having problems. Yeah, we're going to need to build that charcoal thing straight away. Where is that? Is it here? No, no, no. It's under... Gathering for some reason? Yeah, it's under gathering. Okay. So where is this? Woodcutter's Lodge is right there. So the charcoal kiln will have to go, I guess, here. I don't really want to put it there. So I'm going to actually make a little bit of a road around there. Uh, somewhere around here like that. And then we're just going to put the charcoal kiln here. This is probably a bad idea, actually. This is probably a bad idea to put this right here next to the residential, but I mean, I don't think that really makes any difference to their approval rating. I mean, they love us at the moment, as you can see, but yeah, once this is done, then obviously we're going to start getting more firewood. You can see here that we're actually having problems with firewood right now. Um, so hopefully that's going to make a pretty big difference. We've got 18 months worth of food because the berries are just giving us insane amounts and... Um, well, I have no idea where where anything else is coming from, but yeah, the berries are giving us crazy, crazy good returns. 
And once we have deep mining, this iron deposit will give us infinite amounts of iron, which will then obviously in turn give us an infinite amount of money. Oh yeah. And uh, basically what that means is that I'm then going to be able to hire every single mercenary party in the land. Look at this. As long as you have the coin. Let's sign the contract. They arrive in Barneyville. There we go. These, oh no, those guys arrive in Barneyville. The other ones don't, but yeah. Um, oh yeah, they, 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 these guys actually got... Wait a minute. <laughs> did, I, did, did, I just, did I just mess up? I might have just messed up. I don't know. But yeah, we need to level these guys, uh, level the, the burger spots pretty quickly, actually, so that we can get another development point. Um, and then I think I just did that, didn't I? I think I just did what I needed to do. Um, but yeah, we are doing far and away very, very well here. You can see that I have a bunch of uh, mercenaries now. Where are these guys actually? D did I? Where are they? Did I summon them already? Ah, there they are. They're all the way over there. Okay, so that's fantastic. So yeah, um, unfortunately, they're not actually going to be useful for me. So I'm actually just going to disband them right now because there is nothing to fight. I could technically fight the enemy's armies, but I haven't actually spotted him in a huge amount of time. And the only way for me to claim these other territories is either with King's Favor, and I have no idea what that is, or with 2,000 influence. And the only way for me to get influence, you guessed it, is to build manners. Mm -hmm. Yes, we need to build manners and then actually have that work. Because once we've built the manor, we can then start doing some really, really cool things. And that's it. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's basically where we're at right now. And um, I am very pleased. Love the game. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Definitely needs a couple of extra things, like just quality of life improvements. As I said, just like the little name tags and stuff on the, on the, uh, on the buildings. That's just for me personally, of course. But apart from that, it's absolutely wonderful. And um, well, obviously, I'm not being attacked either right now. I'm not being attacked at all, which is maybe not so good, but. I don't really mind. I actually just really love running all of these regions. It's it, it's ex actually extremely taxing, if you can believe that. <laughs> Surprisingly so. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.